A cladogram is an image or diagram that shows us an evolutionary relationship between different organisms. So here is a cladogram. This cladogram shows salmon, salamander, lizards, hamsters, and chimpanzees. At the top of a cladogram, you will always have the names of the organisms. Along the side of a cladogram, you will usually have different characteristics, and these characteristics are what separate the various organisms from one another. So for example, all the way down here is the characteristic vertebrae. What this tells me is that every organism from this point on has a spine. As we move up the cladogram in this direction, we get more and more exclusive. This means that the higher we are, the more traits the organisms have to share to be placed there. Let's take a look. We started with vertebrae. When we look at the next characteristic, lungs, we exclude salmon. Salmon do not have lungs, they have gills, and so they are excluded from all the groups from here forward. We can continue this way and look at the next characteristic. Who has closer nails? Well, all the organisms above this point. So only the lizard, hamster, and chimpanzee, but not the salamander or the salmon. Now the whole purpose of placing organisms in a cladogram is that it allows us to trace evolutionary relationships. The points where the lines connect represent a common ancestor. So if we look at any particular point, like right here, this point represents the common ancestor of all organisms after this point. So this organism right here is the common ancestor of lizards, hamsters, and chimpanzees. In other words, long ago there lived an organism who gave rise to lizards, hamsters, and you will often see these common ancestors labeled and have questions like who is the common ancestor of lizards and chimpanzees? And by following the lines, you can confidently answer C. Super important to understand is that what this tells you is that lizards and chimpanzees share that C common ancestor. Chimpanzees and hamsters, for that matter, did not evolve from lizards. They merely share a common ancestor way back in time. So cladograms tell us which organisms evolve from common ancestors. Another thing that cladograms can tell us is how closely related organisms are. Let's look at the chimpanzee. If we were to ask which of these organisms is most closely related to the chimpanzee, or which of these have the most recent common ancestors, we would have to say that it is the hamster and the reason is that they converge at a closer point than any of these other organisms. If we look at this primate cladogram, we can then explain that humans and chimpanzees share a tailless common ancestor right here, and that we are less closely related to the rhesus monkey since the downward pointing nose ancestor we share is way down here. In quick review, a cladogram is a diagram that shows evolutionary relationships and the way it works is that it arranges the organisms across the top and gives you their evolutionary lineage. It also shows you which organisms are most closely related by illustrating the common ancestors between them.